Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring a wig review to you. I'm going to show you the John Renault wig style Christy in the color 39F38. If you want to know more about this fully hand tied cap, this cute bob style, and this color, then stick around and I'll tell you everything I can about them. You know, I looked back at some of my reviews because I really thought that I'd reviewed this style before, but the only Christy I've shown was a modified Christy. So I'm really excited to be able to show you guys a Christy by John Renault and another gray color. So fun to be able to do both. So let me show you this Christy from all sides and then I will tell you about her. Look at that natural movement. And because Christy is fully hand tied, you do not have to worry about any wefting showing so you can play with her. You can be in hurricane force winds, whatever you want. No wefting will show on this one, which is awesome. So Christy is, has been around quite a long time and is a favorite in the John Renault line. This is a, your, kind of your standard bob cut. There's some very subtle layers here and there, but, so, but mainly it's all one length. It's just not blunt. The layers help give it kind of that rounded bob look. Very, very natural, very polished. It is a uh, like I said, a fully hand tied cap, which I will show you in just a moment, but that gives this wig ultra realism. I really think this right here is about as close as you can get to looking like human hair without it being human hair. One of the benefits of a hand tied cap is that every single hair strand, every single one is hand tied into the cap as opposed to a cap with wefting where the hair fibers are sewn into a weft track, it doesn't give the wefts the most natural movement. Well, it, first of all, if the wind takes it, you can maybe see the wefts, but because each one of these is knotted individually into the cap, you get full natural movement. The fibers can move every which way and that looks really natural as opposed to a kind of a unidirectional movement when you get them on wefting. So that is one of the tremendous benefits of a fully hand tied cap. Another benefit of a fully hand tied cap is how realistic or I'm mean, sorry, how comfortable it feels. It just really kind of hugs the head. You don't get the extra bulk from the wefting. Now that said, you also don't get a lot of volume. So a hand tied cap like this, the wig is going to be fairly sleek. It's not really going to be poofy. You know, you're not going to get in here and kind of get volume. I can get temporary volume by doing this with it but that volume doesn't last. Within a few minutes, it's gravity's gonna take hold and it's going to settle because there isn't any permatease to give you that kind of lift. And I think that some of my wig sisters are just going to love that. This is so realistic looking. This is one that you can tuck it, you can clip it. I mean, you can do all kinds of things with it. You can wear a headband with it. It's just going to be one of those that nobody is ever going to know that you have a wig on your head ever. So let's take a look at this cap. Now they are, they're also a lot more expensive because these are hand tied. A human being had to work on this and tie each one of these in. That takes a lot longer. Um, so you kind of do have that trade off, but this has a full mono top. So when you've got a full mono top, this whole top section, it means you can part it anywhere you'd like. It has the soft ear tabs with the bendable stays. And then all of this is that hand tied this whole cap. And so when I stick my hand underneath the cap and let's move aside some of the hair fibers, you can kind of see that's just going to look like the hair is growing out of your scalp. So you really don't have to worry about wefting showing because there isn't any to show. 
definitely, definitely very comfortable. I do get asked quite often what's if a hand tied cap is warmer than a wefted cap, and I, you know, I think it just depends. Um, wefting, in theory, can be cooler because you've got holes. You don't have any any material there, and so you can stick your hands right through the holes, which means that air airflow isn't restricted. But often with wefted hair, wefted wigs, you get permatease, and permatease acts as an insul insulator. And the thicker the permatease, the more the insulation. So I find high permatease wigs to be a lot warmer. This one. Even though it's got the cap, the cap is very breathable and the density is kind of moderate, low to moderate. And so you don't have a lot of hair on this one. So I wouldn't say that this one is going to be warmer than a wefted cap just because I think it's going to depend on you and, and where you wear it and all of those things. Kristen is, I would say, a sister style to this one in the John Renault line. That one does not have a fully hand tied cap. It only has, I believe Kristen only has a deep lace front and no monofilament on the top. That one has quite a bit of permatease though on the top. So I actually find Kristen to be hotter than Christy because of that permatease. So again, it's not an easy question to answer. There's no black and white answer to it. It really will depend, but I would say that between the density of this and the no permatease, that makes it really comparable to a wefted wig that has permatease. Let's take a look at the lace front on this one. So you've got such light colors on this one that the lace front is fabulous. You can see that so realistic. So you can style this one any way you want to. You can take a clip and put it up. You can take a bobby pin and put it up. It's just super, super fun and flattering. Very professional. Really, you can do whatever you want with this one. If you wanted a lot more lift at the front than this one has, it still stays off the face pretty well. I wouldn't feel the need to do anything to keep it off the face. It's doing a pretty good job on its own. But if you want more lift, you can take steam to the front and you can get a lot more lift out of this. I actually did that with the Christy that I did review. It was a used Christy. It was a trimmed Christy. And I took steam and got some more lift here. And I also got more lift here. So if you want to see that go to my video uh, the Christy project I think I called it I'll, I'll try to link it in the description but just so that you've got some idea of how you can modify these wigs to suit you a little bit better the fit on this one is really quite good I would say it runs perfectly true to average you definitely have really good stretch Every now and then, I've seen hand-tied caps that don't stretch a ton. This has great stretch. So there's definitely room to grow on this one. I would say this is going to fit average petite to average large. I really think it's kind of going to kind of run the gamut because of that stretch. The coverage is excellent. You can barely see my bio hair here, which is rare. You can almost always see my bio hair on wigs. It's giving me great coverage. The ear tabs are in a perfect place to give really good coverage, but also really good clearance for tucking, for wearing glasses. But again, that's on me and my measurements. You might be different. So keep that in mind and definitely compare your measurements to mine to see kind of where will the length fall on you. I mean, this is a sort of a just below chin length bob on me. If your measurements are larger than mine, it's probably going to be a little shorter. If they're smaller than mine, then it'll be a little longer. That's kind of how it works. If you want to cut bangs into Christy, you can. So there's quite a bit of hair here in the front. So determining kind of where to start that bang will be one decision you have to make. But I think it would be just fine. And I've seen Christy with bangs cut in. The only risk you run is if your Christy has a little bit more lift in the front, you may need to take heat to it in order to get that to lay flat. And because this is not heat friendly, that heat probably should be steam, not, um, any other kind of heat so you don't want to take the chance of melting these fibers all right let's talk about this color f what did i say f38 no 39 f38 
39 F38. I've also seen this called roasted chestnut. They don't call it that on any of the websites where you purchase it, but I did watch a few reviews on this just to kind of see how others described it and all of that. And I did see some people calling it roasted chestnut. So F means kind of their fashion. No, that's FS. I'm not sure what F means. I'd have to look that up and put it in the description. Um, now I'm just talking and I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's talk about the makeup of this color. So you've got at the top here a light ash brown with 75% gray. This gra graduates into a darker at the bottom and at the nape, kind of the underside. It's a darker nape, so there you've got more of the ash brown and only 35% gray. So it's a very fun and unique color. Definitely lighter at the top, darker at the nape. And actually, I had it at one point where I could show it when I fold it in on itself. There you go. You can see that's the top, that's the nape. See how it's darker at the nape, more of the brown, more of the gray. That makes it look so realistic because, you know, when our hair is graying, it doesn't all gray at the same rate. And a lot of times you'll get more kind of gray on the top and the nape will stay a little bit darker. And that's what's happened here. Very realistic. It's definitely a, a kind of a silvery gray. I wouldn't exactly call it salt and pepper because the pepper is so light on this part of it. But you definitely have like a light ash brown running through with the white, the grayish white color. It's definitely cool, although that brown, every now and then you get the slightest hint of warmth. No red, definitely not red. It's not a warm color, but it's not so, so um, ashy that it looks washed out or dull. It's a very beautiful, dynamic color. It's one of those really pretty grays that if you're blessed to have gray hair like this, you're tempted to just go with your natural hair as opposed to get it colored because it is very attractive. So overall, before I get outside and show you this color outside, overall, I think Christy is a great wig for someone looking for something very realistic, very comfortable, you don't want anything to give away that you have a wig on your head, and you really like kind of the rounded, sleek bob look. That's who I think Christy is perfect for. I definitely think this is uh, going to be flattering for a lot of people. So the biggest question is, can you afford the hand-tied cap? If you can, I do think it's worth having a Christy in your collection if you wear styles like this. I definitely do. I really love Christy. I think she's a very attractive bob and I wore the one that I had that was modified a ton uh, because I just love this look. So let's get outside and I'll show you this color outside. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll talk to you soon. All right, everyone, let's look at this beautiful color out here in the daytime light. It's just so realistic. Just loving, loving how realistic this color is. Sorry, I felt something on my ankle. I needed to look at it. <laughs> and we have a little bit of wind so you can see how Christy moves. She's just a really fabulous style. Really, really realistic. All right, you guys, there you go. Hope this helped you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.